All right. Hi, uh, Ramina. This is our time to be coached, and I'm just checking in with you to see if you're okay. Uh, me recording this session for educational purposes. Do I have your cons uh, consent for that? Yes. Okay, excellent. So what would you like us to discuss in today's session that, that will be value for you? Um, I would like to talk to you about finding motivation for the long term so that I can um, accomplish some of my financial goals. And I realize that if I make a uh, better use of the money that I make and that I earn, and I don't spend in um, frivolous things that are really not, not needs, I can really um, accomplish those goals. But because they're long-term goals and it's like years on the road, um, I struggle a bit with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have a desire of a long-term goal or a vision and you want to start taking steps towards it in today's conversation. Yes, yes. Okay. And if you were to reflect on that uh, long-term, you mentioned goals, Romina, and I wondered uh, if you had a clear vision towards the goals. A clear vision. For your financial well-being. Yes, yes. So I do have a clear vision. I know what that is. Uh-huh. Okay. And how would you describe that vision? Well, I would like to um, finish paying off my car. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to do that within the next 12 months. Um, mm -hmm. After that, I want to finish paying off my home. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I am a, a single mother. And so I... I want to just have the peace of mind that my house is paid for so that my children and I have a roof over our heads in case of anything. Mm -hmm. um, and so those are two tangible goals right there. But also, I want to be able to, to share um, what I have with my family and, and the ones that I love. Like I like to be able to give ni nice gifts to my family members or mm -hmm. be able to help with my mom with a bill or those kinds of things. I see. So what I'm seeing is that two things that Ramana, it's coming forward uh, mixed together. Um, as I understand your long-term vision is to have a peace of mind in your life and to be able to share your financial means with others. Yes, mm -hmm. that's well said. Okay. And towards that, you explain some long-term goals. They were finish paying your car, finish paying for your home, and um, anything else that will get you to the peace of mind that you uh, can see yourself sharing your financial means with others with comfort. Um, yes. Yeah. So once I finish paying off for those big items, mm -hmm. I would like to set aside some money so that I can use it to be able to share with others. Like if my parents have a bill of mm -hmm. $2,000 that I can be able to pay for that, mm -hmm. um, from that, from that account, which is separate than my other accounts. So almost like a, like a reserve that I have to be able to do those things. Okay. So another long-term goal is then the, besides paying the car, paying the home, which seems like you have large amount of payments, and then putting aside a reserved money. Yes, exactly. Okay. Anything else? Um, no, I think, I think those, those three things will, um, I think that summarizes my vision. Okay, excellent. So Romina, the, your long-term vision of having a peace of mind and um, sharing your gifts, when do you see yourself in that vision? When do I see myself, um, what did you say? 
You wanted to have a peace of mind that um, with everything that you wanted to pay and then also share your gifts with others. This is your envisioned state of financial well-being. Yeah? Right. Yes. Uh-huh. And when would you like to experience that vision in your life? Oh, I see. Okay. That's a great question. I've been crunching some numbers, just kind of, I um, actually started this past week, just kind of looking very honestly at, at what I spend and what I make. Mm -hmm. And so if I am careful with, with the decisions that I, that I make with my money, I can, I can do that quite comfortably um, within the next three years, within the next three to five years, let's say. Okay, three to five years is our vision. Right. Towards the peaceful mind and feeling comfortable that your children have a, and you have a, a roof over your head and you have a reserved. Yes. Correct, yes. And we have these long-term goals about finishing paying your car and your home and then putting reserve aside. So if any... Uh, time difference between those long-term goals how are they looking like to you when would you like to receive each to paying those three goals oh okay I I think maybe I answered that question with my with my last answer um, Within the next three to five years, I can accomplish those goals of paying off my car and my home and create that reserve that I want. I see. Okay. Yeah. I got it. So, and Romina, in your mind, this activity, those three long-term goals towards your long-term vision, are they being um, moved at the same time or do they have different priority in timeline for you? Oh, okay, yes, they have different priorities. I will begin with my, with my car because that is my smaller debt. Okay. After that, I will um, go to my home. Mm -hmm. um, and no, I will do my car first, then I will um, put the money aside. Mm -hmm. um, just having that reserve, and then I will pay off my home last. I see. Mm -hmm. And when you put the money into the reserve, that gets to be saved for towards your home, or does it get to be shared with your loved ones or both? Okay, yes, that's an interesting question. Um, when I put that money aside, I want to be able to um, share and give some of that, but not all of it, because I want to um, have it there if, if I have to get a new car or if I have any big ticket items that I have to purchase. More like, more like an emergency kind of, sort of. Okay, emergency fund. Yes, I can. Yes, kind of like an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. And then when I finish paying off my home, I can, um, I can continue saving more money and, and be able to share more. I see. Yes, okay. like, that makes any sense, yes. Absolutely. So then, Romanat, when you have the reserve in the form of an emergency fund, uh -huh. how do you envision that... Uh, spending that towards what you need versus how much you give to the others. Okay, good. Um, that's a good question. Um, I will, um, I will, when I create my, my budget, because that's something that I, that I've started doing, um, and I've done it, I've done a better job of it in the past, not as of late, but I will have a category for, for sharing, for giving. Okay. Um, so that, so that every month I am putting aside after I have my, my emergency money in place, 
I can dedicate more money to the sharing category. And so that money is there for when I want to share with others. Okay. So what I'm hearing in that, that the almost the reserve has two buckets, as you said it, the one is for the emergencies for you. And the one is to continue to start sharing with your loved ones. That is correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So then with those in mind, we have the desire to reach to the peace of mind and sharing your gifts and your long-term goals around first finish paying your car, then start putting a reserve money aside and then paying your home. What would you like us specifically focus on today's uh, session towards those long-term goals and vision? Yes. Um, well, um, because they are long-term goals, and I'm looking at years on the road to, to be yes. able to accomplish them, right? I have a, a more difficult time staying uh, motivated. Mm -hmm. So I, it's almost like I have to um, change a bit of my, of my inner talk mm -hmm. as in how I am looking at something when it comes my way. Like for instance, I was invited to a trip over the weekend and I actually declined. I said, no, I really can't because I, I have these other goals and, and, and I really, I don't want to spend that money right now. And I was pretty proud of myself for doing that because had it been a month ago, I would have said yes. And so, um, but it, it came from really thinking very hard and, and looking at numbers in front of me. Mm -hmm. um, and it took a lot for me to say no. <laughs> so I, I want to become accustomed to that without, and just kind of, that's just what I'm doing right now. Just kind of have this automaticity about it. Um, because when I've been able to do that in the past, I can really accomplish long-term goals and I can stay motivated. But I don't think I'm there yet, just now. Okay, so what I'm hearing in that, uh, that you actually was able to do this before in other contexts. Yes. To stay motivated. And somehow that you're struggling to apply into the financial aspect of your life. Correct. And what is the distinction? What makes this part harder than the other place that you were able to do it? Um, well, the, I think in the other, in the other two instances, and in one of them was losing weight, and then the other one was finishing my college degree, it was, I had a sense of urgency. I, I, I really, I, my health was getting to, to be in such bad state that I was not able to sleep, and I really wasn't enjoying my life. So I said, I am not going to be overweight anymore. And so it took me a whole year to lose like 40 pounds, but I stayed motivated and I've kept it off because there's this, it's very much attached to, to my life. Like there's a sense of urgency, like I said. And in this financial situation, I oftentimes will think, well, it's really not so bad if I don't pay off my, my car or my house in 10 years. I mean, it's, it's really not the end of the world. I, I, the end of the world, I have a job. I can, I can make payments next month. Okay. So the urgency was supporting you towards the motivation in the other two instances. And here you don't feel the urgency. Not yet. Yep. Okay. And if the urgency isn't enough motivator to get you to peaceful state of mind, what would? Hmm. Um, if the urgency is not enough motivator, well, it will be the, the fantastic peace of mind I will have when I, when I, when I accomplish these goals and I am able to help others and, and my house is paid for. Okay, so in this case, then the motivation is going to be fueled by the desire to have this state of mind that is peaceful. 
and you sharing your gifts instead of feeling the urgency? Well, yes, yes, you said it perfectly. Also, now that I'm thinking about it and I'm hearing you say it, there is a bit of a sense of urgency in me because um, being the, the sole provider of my children, mm -hmm. um, what if something happens to me? What if I uh, you know, have to go to the hospital and, not, and I'm not able to work? Um, I want my kids to be okay. So that is, that is almost like a sense of urgency right there. Okay. So then um, understanding that parts of the urgency and also desire to get to the state of mind with peace and as well as sharing others, what would your desired walk away be from today's conversation? What would I like to walk away with? Yeah. Um, what it, what would, what I would like to walk away with is what am I going to be saying to myself? Because once I'm able to, to talk myself into something, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. um, what will I, what will my inner talk be when, when I am prompted to spend my money on something like a trip that is coming up or buying new couches? or my kids want a new pair of shoes that they don't really need. And mm -hmm. so um, I'm able to say no once I've convinced myself. And I do that by, by having this very, uh, my, a very strong belief about something. I and, see. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm hearing in there is that when temptation arises, when you yeah. find an inner languaging in a talk then you can actually resist the temptation or redirect the temptation towards your long-term goals and vision yes okay and so when you in the past when you established this inner talk what was your mechanism of doing it um i um Let's see. I, I, I always thought about where I didn't want to be. So I, I did not want to be um, 40 pounds overweight anymore, and I could see it getting worse. So when I thought of the worst of the worst, mm -hmm. it was such a great deterrent from eating cookies or whatever. Um, and so when I think of, oh, what can the worst be? <laughs> When that is in front of me, then it's then I'm thinking, okay, I can manage not doing this one thing today. Okay, so you're motivated by thinking the worst case scenarios in general. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so then what will be the worst of the worst <laughs> <laughs> in this case for you towards financial? <laughs> well-being <laughs> oh, the worst of the worst okay in my in my situation it will be that if if anything happens to me and i'm not able to work and i'm not able to make my my payments my commitments mm -hmm. um my ex-husband will have to become the provider for our kids mm -hmm. which he he's very much involved in his lives but there i have um custody of them and so Mm -hmm. If if this if that's the case, if I do not manage my my money well and I and that happens, then he has to get involved, and then I would miss out on being with my kids, which is such an important thing for me. I and see. Raise them, and so that to me that would be worst case scenario. Forget the the losing my car or losing my house. It's it's about my kids. I see. So if you were to language that for you towards creating the motivation how would you do that oh gosh yes i love that phrase if i were to language that um i would say to myself um it is worth saying no right now it is worth saying no right now because um because you will have such peace of mind 
about your life and your children. But I think that's what I would say to me. It's all right to say no right now. It's only, it's almost like it's temporary as a matter of fact, mm -hmm. because the, the saying no to those things, it's only for some years. I won't be saying no to it the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. um, so if I, I think I will say to myself, it's only for now. And it's, it's for the, for the well being of, of myself and my children. And then I can enjoy some of those things later. I think probably that's the key saying to myself, I'll, I'll be able to do that later on, not just now. Okay. And when you hear say yourself saying that to yourself, how does that feel towards motivation? Um, it feels doable. It feels like I'm not stuck in this, not spending money for the rest of my life. It, I don't feel like I'm in chains when I say, <laughs> when I say it's only, it's only for now. I'll be able to do that later, which I know I will. Okay. And what will take the completely idea of chain thought away from that uh, languaging? The chains will come off when I say, when I think, and when I say to myself, it's only temporary. I can do this. And also when I say, when I think um, it, it's for the well-being and for the peace of mind of the, the boys and I, those two things right there is when I can feel the chains dissolving. Okay. Gone. Because right now it kind of feels like I'm in chains, like, oh, I can't go on the trip over the weekend or I can't do that. I see. So the really envisioning your f goals, I mean, uh, your desired wellness state, that is the peace of mind and sharing your gifts, is re dissolving the chain, as I understand. Right. Yes. Actually, yes. Okay. So then how do you, with a language or an image, whatever works for you to restate that inner talk towards yourself that will actually feel no chain at all? Oh, that's so funny that you said the word image because I, um, I have um, been thinking about creating kind of, have you heard what a, about what a vision board is? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I've been thinking about creating one because one of my friends um, is very much into that and she's all about, you know, the law of attraction and just so on and so forth. And she has, she, she has had a, a vision board for, for the longest and she's always changing it and talking about it. And I believe in, in attracting things into our lives, both good and bad. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it very much goes with how we feel about things. And so because I want to have no resistance in this process, I want it to be, I want to be all right this year doing this mm -hmm. because I can be. And so I thought about creating a vision board and just kind of posting where I see myself going with this, like the boys grown up or my, a picture of my house paid for mm -hmm. um, in a picture of my family that I'll be able to help. Um, and so, because I, I'm also extremely visual. So I think that would, and now that I'm thinking about it, that that's another thing that could get me into the state of, like you said, getting rid of those chains. Okay. So then, Romina, if you were to come up with an image that will remind you of the state of peace of mind and showering and sharing your gifts with others, what would that image be for you? If I were to come up with an image, mm -hmm. um, okay, it would be, um, it would be uh, a, a picture of, of somebody walking on the, on the sunset at the beach. Because mm -hmm. that would be, to me, would be financial freedom right there. I'm able to travel. Mm -hmm. And I'm in such a peaceful state. I'm not worried about money. My house is paid for. I know I have a house. Mm -hmm. I'm able to 
to help um, others and be able to share that money and such a such tremendous peace of mind when I see that in my mind. I see. So when you mentioned about picturing somebody sunset at the beach, who is that somebody? That will be me. Okay. <laughs> okay. What else is on that beach, Romina? Um, I see the boys with me too. I see because the boys and I always travel together. Uh huh. Um, and and we and we always go places together. So I want to share this with them, of course. Very much of what I am doing is for them. Uh huh. And able to enjoy life with them. And so I see the boys with me, and we're just walking, and we're very relaxed. And mm-hmm. and yeah. Uh huh. And um. What else do you see in that environment around the beach at the sunset? I don't know. For now, I think that's, that's all I'm seeing. That, that to me, that, that visual means mm-hmm. a lot. It means the ability to travel. It means mm-hmm. the voice with me. It means, gosh, I've, I've made it in my mm-hmm. own way. Mm-hmm. And, and, and all is good. Excellent. So then with that image, Ramana, what are you feeling in your body all right now? It feels fantastic. It feels like it's off my chest. Like this, um, this, not, not stress. I wouldn't call it stress, but this, this worry that I had that goodness, am I going to be able to really stick to this long-term goal for three to five years? Now it feels very reachable. It feels like, ah, of course I can do this. Yes, I can do three to five years. Mm -hmm. It's so worth it. I see. And what happens to the chains when you have that vision? They are gone. The, The chains are gone simply because I am able to see where I am going. Mm hmm because it is really temporary when I, when I'm thinking about it and by talking to you it's really only temporary that I am mm-hmm. that I am doing this um yes i the, the chains i feel them gone i i don't feel i feel um more confident okay a lot more confident that i will be able to have this vision in my mind, when temptation, temptations come my way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so what happens to the peace of mind that you were looking to get to when you envision yourself in that beach? The peace of mind is very much there. Okay. The peace of mind is there. Okay. So then, as I understand, you already are in that dream you're living living your what you envision to experience in this moment correct yes Mm -hmm. okay so Ramana what have you discovered so far about your situation and how you approached to it um, towards your financial uh, motivations Yes. Um, well, I've realized that um, the the decisions that I that I um, make now, of course, will have a long term effect. But more importantly, that it's the the holding back that I will do this next three to five years, holding back in a way of managing my money better and not spending on frivolous things um, is something very doable because it is temporary because I will be able to do those nicer, those nice things eventually. Mm-hmm. And, and so for now, what, while I'm doing this, I probably will not be able to, to help it much others in the way that I would like or travel places or that kind of thing. But that's all right because I am going there. Um, and so I've learned that I can, that when I have this vision in my mind of the boys and I walking on the beach at sunset, right? 
Yep. Um, the, the motivation is suddenly there. Like, oh, it's, of course I can't go on that trip over the weekend. That's $300 that I just don't want to spend right now. Mm -hmm. But I'd rather save. Uh -huh. Okay. So what would continue to support you to stay on track and be motivated? Um, I'm going to do the vision board. That's one thing. I want to have that visual in my daily life. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to do that. Um, also, I, um, I, there's a lot of stuff on, on YouTube that, that I, um, there are things that I want to learn more about, like, um, th financial things such as saving for retirement and how to, uh, how, what is the best way of, of paying off debt or a very technical things I think that have to do with, um, financial questions. So I, I think if I, if I dig a little bit around there, it would give me more information as to what the financial decisions to make. I think I'll be better informed. I think that's one thing. So mm -hmm. another thing will be better informed about the decisions that I'm making so that I can say yes, yes or no. Mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Anything else will be supportive for you? Um, no, I think, oh, well, no, well, that I already, I typically meditate about mm -hmm. three to four times per week. So I want to continue that. Not, not that I will meditate for this thing in particular, but it just helps me a lot in my life. So I want to continue to do that. I think those will be my, my three ways, my three things that will support me in this process. Excellent. So how confident are you feeling about staying on track when the temptation comes and visits with you? How confident? Um, I am feeling extremely confident because I'm thinking of the voice with me. Like I said, the thinking of the worst. <laughs> <It's not like laughs> So when I think of them not being with me, okay, I can do it. But because we're at the beach and they're with me mm -hmm. right there, that's, that's that picture. That is, yes, I can do this. Excellent. So Ramana, we started with your vision three and, and then long-term goals about three to five years. And then we are at this place of finding inner motivation and the image that works for you. How complete are you feeling about our agenda at hand for today? I feel very accomplished. I feel, ex yes, I think we, we definitely, we got through it all because it, it like I told you in the beginning, it, it was all internal for me. It was about my inner talk and what I'm envisioning, what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. And now, but you walking me through this visual. Mm -hmm such a powerful visual and, and a, a fantastic motivator, really. Excellent. So then, um, well, I mean, I want to acknowledge your um, movement through this process <laughs> so fast and so quickly and so passionately. And yeah. um, your love for children and your family is uh, incredibly amazing to observe. And, um, kudos for all that i thank you also wanted to check in to see if this is an okay place for us to end the session then yes i think this is the perfect spot i'm pretty excited about creating the vision board <laughs> <laughs> excellent i'm just gonna stop our recording now <laughs>